I couldn't even take a shower at one time. I said, we, you know, just run out of air. We talked to a doctor by the name of Dr. Frank, Frankel. And uh, he said, you know how bad your lungs are? I walked in there and I says, no, no, not really. And he said, well, he said, you're in bad shape, you know. I said, how long have I got to live? And he said, maybe six months. We went with met Dr. Wally and the staff, of course, and, and uh, they took me in there and put me through the procedure, see if I qualified. And, you know, of course, they check all your organs and they give you the best physical that, that you could possibly get any place, I would imagine. I say that they'll fix you if, if you'll give your body to them. And that means if you will do what they say and, and follow them, what they ask you to do as much as you can, you will be pretty much okay. Good. Yeah. I jump up at five o'clock in the morning, go hay in my stairs and, and come back in, we eat breakfast and go back out and go, go roping or clean something up around here, fix things, go visit somebody. Most of the time we're roping or doing something very active, you know. It's just like family. You got, you know. I mean, they, you know, they check up on you and make sure things are right, and mm -hmm. and, and which we respect that very much. Most people don't get a second chance, you know? and uh, the people that give me my lungs and they go right on down the line. You know, I mean, they give me another chance at life, and you know, I, I really, really uh, respect them and everybody that's been involved.